Yeah, throw the challenge. Say nothing to We're gonna make this shit happen. Like I said, we got a bunch of press conferences and then all that shit. You don't think Ryan would want to tune up in between coming on the lot like like you got tonight? I I didn't do a tune up. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, well, I mean, no, I didn't do it. You're the world title shot. What you mean? I went straight for a title. You had another opponent. And I went in there, you know. I, 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 I try to fight Quayle. I did it. I try to fight Quayle. Quayle, uh, I don't know. Uh, didn't follow the rules or whatever, right? And, uh, you know, he, he, he kind of just fucked some shit up, right? It's not my fault that Quayle did that. Because I was going in as a challenger. I didn't do no damn tune up. I went in straight for a damn champion. And that's how we did it. Hey, really, uh, you know, Oscar is watching the fight. You have a message to him because he said he's going to be excited to tune in. And eat, eat. Oscar, let's make this shit happen. <laughs> I know Oscar excited to make this happen. I know Oscar excited to make this happen. Where would the it, fight it, be at? Vegas, of course? Well, we're not being Vegas. How much, how much different would it look from the sparring from all these years? Man, Ryan has developed a lot as a fighter, and I've developed a lot as a fighter. I'm still gonna whip that ass. <laughs> Nick Foley, did you feel that big point of the knockdown when you scored the knockdown? The fight was close, or were you ready to get out? Or did you go overall, you were ready to fight off? I was ready to fight, but like my elbow was not close. But like I said, I was banging. Every time I was landing, I was landing the better to see the shot. But like I said, you know, I think it's going to be a good fight. I think it's going to be a good fight. Right, I got 12 rounds to play. You only got two kids right now. Who do you like more? Rolly, you came out real aggressive versus Tank. Uh, you were a little bit more careful in this fight. Can you talk to us about your game plan? When it, when it calls for, you know, throwing more punches per round, you feel like you'll be able to dial that up to it, as well as the patience, be able to go back and forth between fighting both ways. Well, I mean, the thing is, I can do that with you know, an hour or anything. But with this dude, he's one of, like I said, he's one of the dudes that have like I said, like, it, it, it was just like, like boom, like every punch, like, but you can feel, you can feel everything. How do you compare his power to tank? He punches a million times harder than I'm not exaggerating. He punches over. Yeah, when you were going back to your corner, I saw your eyebrows really high up. Like, you couldn't beat how strong he was. Can you talk to us about that? Like, Snaddy, what the hell else do you want me to tell you? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are good? Yeah, you want to? Yeah, well, what, what, I don't know what else you want me to tell you. So 140, if not 140, 147, they still apply, right? Thanks for rolling. Thank you, Rolling. Congrats, brother. Thanks for rolling.